guys come here from today it's iphone and it is monday which means it's time for me to get my complaining cap on I actually don't think I own an actual cap. This week's moan is directed squarely at the forehead of Siri, the iPhone's digital assistant, or what Apple would like us to believe is a digital assistant. And it's less of an assistant and more of a sort of digital frustration box. Let's get something clear right from the start. Siri isn't useless. Siri actually can do a lot of really useful things. It can tell me statistics on sports, it can order me a, a table, book me a table, it can open all my apps, it can set reminders, set alarms, set timers, send messages, make phone calls. It can do practically anything but the point is that it hasn't yet been implemented in a way that makes it vital to my daily life. And in fact after two and a half years of existence it still is something that I think about after I've already done something. For instance I could send a message and type it into the virtual keyboard and then think afterwards oh I could have spoken that. And the same can be said of opening most apps. I do it using the physical, well, not physical, but the virtual buttons on the screen. That's how I open my apps. I don't use Siri. And actually, I think the problem is perhaps they're twofold. Firstly, it's my own fault and my conditioning. I grew up in the 90s where computing meant pressing lots of buttons and doing lots of things. That's how things were done. And so to get my mentality switched to just speaking something is kind of a difficult switch for me. But the fact that Apple makes you have to press a button in the first place to actually open Siri is where it kind of falls flat because there's always a 50-50 chance that it doesn't hear you properly or that it does something you don't want it to do or that it doesn't have the answer. Whereas I know full well that if I go into a specific app and do a certain task, it gets done. I don't have to rely on my Siri to do it for me. Now, Siri obviously has had lots of updates over the years, but one that it hasn't had yet, actually two that it hasn't had yet that it really needs is firstly, it needs to be able to listen all the time. So if I say, hey Siri, then it just listens. I don't have to press a button, it's just always on. That would be great. Secondly, it would be great if you could action tasks in third-party apps without having to say, open this. For instance, when I want to Shazam a track so that I can tell what it is if I'm watching a TV show and I hear music I like and I want to know who it is, I would like to be able to just say Shazam this and it just does it. I don't want to have to press and hold my button and then say open Shazam and then hit the tag button on Shazam to do something that could be done in far fewer steps. And it's not just that. If you look at sort of sci-fi shows I guess like Star Trek with their computer system that was always listening or even more modern films like Iron Man with their Jarvis sort of household assistant thing. They're always listening, they're always on and they understand your commands perfectly every single time. And you'd think with Siri having been in development now for the last two and a half years that it would be something that I couldn't live without. And it's not. It's an afterthought every single time. And actually, my iPhone experience wouldn't be any greater or worse if it just wasn't there at all. Because the only thing I've ever used it for really on a regular basis is setting reminders and setting timers. That's it. I don't use it for anything else. Often I start off the week and I think, hey, I'm going to use Siri as much as I can this week. And by, the, I guess, a couple of hours into the day, I've completely forgotten and I've reverted back to my old pattern of doing things. So Siri definitely needs to improve, it needs to have some sort of expansion where it becomes an unmissable part of my life, whether that means playing into my computer system or my Apple TV or somehow home automation where it all kind of gathers together and Siri's like this all-controlling butler, then it's not going to be that way, it's not going to be vital to me. What do you think? Is Siri useless? Do you ever use it? Would you rather it just wasn't there because it would make no difference anyway and it would probably save some space on your iPhone storage? Let me know in the comments. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. I'll see you again soon.